Oh my god, that's bad. It's Sunday, and the side of a mountain has just collapsed. It crashes into the river that runs through the Ronde Vach near Tylerstown. Nobody is injured. But it's only today the sheer scale of that collapse is obvious. And something else that's clear is the amount of coal that was still on this mountainside. Gerald watched it all happen. There was a roar, and you could see the, the mountain starting to slip from the top area there. And within a couple of hours, the whole lot had come down there. Do you feel vulnerable? Yeah, yeah. With this going on, yeah. These valleys are surrounded by coal. They were built on coal. It's a frightening prospect, you know. If that could have happened on this side of the mountain, it would have been a totally different outcome. His father, Cliff, is a former miner. You look at this landslide here yeah. now, what goes through your mind? Oh, I'm a man straight away. So I've seen it when I come up now. And believe me, you wouldn't want to see that again. I wouldn't. I've been speaking to people on this street. It's Bryn Haylog and it's opposite the landslide. And they described yesterday as eerie, the sound of slurry crashing down the mountain. And they're just thankful that this happened in front of their homes, not behind them. The greenery of the valleys disguises the amount of coal that is still hidden here. In the 70s, 80s and 90s, the land was reclaimed. But now there are calls by local people to inspect all the areas where coal was dumped. We should definitely be inspecting all the former coal tips to me, making sure that if there is excessive water in there that that's being drained off, um, make sure that everything is safe. Because obviously people, you know, they've seen the, the horrific pictures on television news of what's happened in Pontigwaith. People might not have seen it for themselves. It's, it's, it's much bigger than um, it even looks on television. Um, so people are of course worried that uh, it's one thing having water coming coursing through your house, it's quite another having uh, slurry and um, the top of the mountain coming down through your house. But who's responsible? Who owns the land? The Coal Authority says it's not them and the council say they're not sure if they do. Who's responsible for these sites and who's maintaining them? Well at present we're in discussion with Natural Resources Wales, uh, clearly it's on the side of the hill it's uh, the big one in the Ronde Vach is a concern to us. We have engineers on site right now monitoring it. Do you think that's your land or Natural Resources Wales land? We are still in discussion over that, um, but at present we have engineers on site uh, trying to understand if there is a risk to properties or the public. Uh, certainly there is some concern about the movement that happened yesterday and what's caused it. Is it just water on the surface or is there a deeper issue within the mountain? That is currently under investigation. This is what happened after a weekend of heavy rain. And these valleys know all too well of their history with landslides. Now some are questioning whether this was a one-off or an early warning. Rob Osborne, ITV News. Happy? One more?